Excel is hell, so let's make it a little bit more interesting with this prank. I'll show you how to make it so that it looks like that is being removed or deleted when a user clicks within a range of that data. So here I've got a bunch of data, and if a user clicks anywhere within this data here, between columns B and G and rows 4 and 33, it goes away. But don't worry, I'm not too evil. It's not deleted. The data is still here. I simply made the color of the data the same as the background. So we make it black and it comes back. But here the user can click any of his data, do whatever he wants with it, have a nice merry little day, and then when he goes to click in here, oh no, where'd it go? So that's the beauty of this, because it looks like it pretty much works, and then the data disappears, the source data, the most important data, and that's when the person, probably your coworker, is going to freak out a little bit. So let's go take a look at the macro that makes this happen. Alt F11. And we put the macro in modules, of course. If you need to insert it, simply go to Insert, Module, and put the data in there. This is a very simple macro. The only thing that you need to change here for your data, your worksheet, is this right here, the range reference. So B4 to G33. That range tells the macro which range of cells you're going to actually hide. And it says which range to check for if a user has clicked within it to cause that data to be hidden. So B4 to G33 is simply B4 to G33 right here. So this is the data that will be hidden. And if a user clicks any cell within the same range, that causes the data to become hidden. This is just a very, very simple if statement. It's pretty much saying if the active cell or the cell that the user clicks is within the range that we established up here, B4 to G33, well, if the user clicked a cell within that range, then run this code. And this code simply says, turn all of the text within that range to the font color of white, the same as the background color. So you can change this as you need. Now you can copy this macro from the website or just pause the screen and copy it from here. Now to make the macro run, we double click sheet one where all of our data is contained and we do a worksheet selection change. That simply means that this right here is going to be called every time another cell is selected within the worksheet. Now you can get this by either typing it by hand or going to the left drop down worksheet and the right drop down selection change. Then we simply type call and the name of the macro. You can see the name of the macro up here after the word sub and before the parentheses. And that's all there is to this Excel prank. So subscribe to get more pranks and helpful tips on Excel. And if you try out this prank, let me know how it goes.